What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins line Battle Armor Skeletor. I love this Skeletor figure. Uh, I love Skeletor in general. If you don't know, granted I did branch off to other characters, but Skeletor does make up the majority of my collection. I have several different Skeletor figures from Origins, Classics, uh, Revelation, you know, uh, even Super 7 I have some Skeletor figures from. And of course, you know, you guys will see all those reviews. Some of them I've done already. And I, I'm just a big fan of Skeletor. So it's like whenever a new Skeletor comes out that adds variety, I'm most likely probably going to try to get it. And this is one that I was really looking forward to getting, and my wife ended up getting me this guy. So, taking a look at Battle Armor Skeletor here from Origins. Let me get rid of his accessories here really quick. That way we could look at the base figure itself. Of course, he does come with his Havoc Staff. He comes with a shield. And then, of course, he does come with his half of the Power Sword. But let's take a look at this guy and dive straight on in with paint applications. Paint applications for Skeletor here. Again, for his skin, you have that same light blue that Skeletor skin is known to be. For his hood and some of his armor pieces, you have that purple-ish color. For his face here, you have very nice yellows and greens mixed in together with blacks and, of course, red for the eyes. For his chest piece here, you have that bat symbol which it does look like a bat here. I don't know why I've always called it a bat or a dragon thing. I don't know. But you do have that there, and that has like some pinks and some neon greens for the paint. And of course, he has black for the rest of his armor all the way around. Black down here for his underwear. And then, of course, his boots are that dark purple color. So it looks really, really good all the way around. Moving on next to detail, this guy does come with different head with a different head sculpt, but I have the smiling head sculpt on this one just because I really like that face. His other head sculpt is more of an angry looking face. Um, I didn't like that one as much, so that's why I have this face on my battle armor Skeletor. I like the I like the little smile grin um, design, so definitely like this head sculpt more. But you do get all those nice wrinkles and everything in his hood. Look really, really good. Again, the face. You have that smile on this head sculpt. Uh, looks really nice. All the detail in the skull itself looks really, really good. Moving down to his armor pieces here. You have this skull here and then all these studs around. Uh, you really don't get to see all the crazy muscle in his base body, but Skeletor is still sporting those massive biceps and forearms. And then, of course, his legs. So you still get that Masters of the Universe, bam, in-your-face power muscle man. All the studs and everything back here. This is the sheath where you can put his uh, power sword. You got these little outward spikes on his forearms, you know, fingers and everything like that, nicely sculpted. Again, it's more or less all the same mold as a lot of Origins figures. Boots and everything, you have all the detail down there, the three toes, just looks great. And then, of course, this guy has the battle armor piece here, which is a separate piece, and if you hit it, you get a battle damage piece, which has a very nice silver so you would basically take, you know, a power sword or whatever, and then if you, see if I can get it to go, if you hit it again, then he has more battle damage pieces, which have that silver. And then if you just want to turn it back, you just got to push it in and a little bit, and then you just rotate it back there. But I don't want to do that too much because I don't want to cause paint scuffs on the design here. But again, I'll just show you guys again if I can do it. I don't want to do it without hurting it. See, I'm, I'm hesitant. Hit it once. Hit it again. And then there you go. That's the battle damage feature on this guy. So again, really cool. I, I like the feature. It works out really well. 
Um, it is homage to the vintage because the vintage had the same gimmick for the battle armor uh, guys. So very, very cool. So that does it for detail. Articulation, you guys. Again, he can look down. He can look up. He can look left. He can look right. You can rotate that all the way around. You can get some nice pivots out of there. His arms bend outward. They can bend downward. They can push forward. They can push backward. You can get them to go all the way around if you ever so want. On his elbows, he does have that single joint. And there I'm pushing his battle armor piece without meaning to. So you can get that bend out of the elbows. And then, of course, that rotates also there at the elbows. Hands on a hinge so you can push them and curl them inwards. You can push them downwards like so. And then, of course, you can rotate those. He does have a waist joint. So you can get that to rotate. His legs connecting to his waist here. Again, his underwear or loincloth is going to get in the way, but you can kick them back ever so far. You can kick them forward ever so far, and they do kind of rotate and pivot just a little bit. You can get them to push outward so where he can do the Eternia splits. <clears throat> get that back in there the best that I can. Knees. Can kick backwards can kick straight he does have a boot cut so you can rotate those boots and then on his feet he does have a hinge that you can push downwards and you can push upwards ever so far and then of course they have a little rotate pivot that you can get out of them so very good articulation. Again, Origins just knocks it out of the park with these figures. They just, they're, they're so great. Not only do they pay homage to the vintage line, but you get all that added articulation that just looks great. This guy is a little top heavy just because of the mechanism up here. So he is kind of harder to stand. I I have this guy displayed sitting down in the, in the Origins Land Shark, so I don't have him standing so and that was mainly the reason why is because getting him to stand is kind of a challenge for me all right i'm just gonna have him lean up back here <clears throat> going over his accessories really quick of course you have his havoc staff which is the same havoc staff throughout all the skeletor origin figures so nothing new there but it's still a very nice havoc staff all in all he comes with his shield, which is exclusive to the Battle Armor Skeletor. Got a nice skull design right there. Got all the studs. But it's a very nice purple, just a purple plastic. They have to cover Skeletor's face, otherwise everything gets out of focus. So, very nice shield though. And then of course, here is the power sword that he comes with. And it is just a half connects to a, a he-man origins doesn't matter which one it doesn't have to be exclusively the battle armor he-man all the power swords that are halves in the origins line will work with whatever version of skeletor or he-man that they come with so you got that half of the power sword which is again just a nice purple color all his accessories are that same purple color and again i don't mess with scaling and i'm just going to leave it at that because i don't want to mess with them anymore um, the only thing I will show you is, again, the sheath. You can put the sword. fits right in there, just like that. So that about does it, you guys, on this figure review of the Masters of the Universe Origins Battle Armor Skeletor. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of him. Like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Go check out Godzilla Fan Freaks on Facebook and on Instagram. Give me likes and follows there. Really appreciate it. Um, and again, every week, you guys, be on the lookout for Kaiju Chill O'Clock live with me. I start on YouTube, I move to Facebook, and then I do Instagram last. And that's because I like to give it variety. It's just not the same videos streamed through all the different platforms. Uh, it gives you a chance to come chill with me live, whether I'm watching a movie and reacting to it, or I'm listening to a vinyl record, playing a game. Um, ask me questions, you want a personal tour, you want a closer look at something, you want to know more about something, bam, Kaiju Chill O'Clock, the, the possibilities are endless. 
And um, I will always be doing Kaiju Chill O'Clock on either Thursdays or Fridays because those are my days off. So on Mondays is when I will post what day is going to work best for me and what time. So be on the lookout on YouTube, be on the lookout on Facebook, be on the lookout on Instagram for all those things. And yeah, so anyway, you guys, just stay updated. Hope to see you on Kaiju Chill O'Clock Live with me on Thursdays or Fridays. And yeah, that just about does it for this figure review, you guys. So we are Godzilla Fan Freaks, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.